This is Ili in northeastern Somalia. Hundreds of cattle used to roam here. But a lack of rain has made this place to be bone dry for months. The sad reality of, of a drought this severe, this long, this enduring, is that we're starting to see massive livestock deaths, uh, livestock losses. 50, 60, even 70 percent of, uh, of, of, of livestock herds uh, dying. Um, which is an enormous, enormous hit for, for these pastoral families to take because it deprives them of money, deprives them of food, milk, which is a vital source of, uh, of, of nutrition, etc. The situation looks bleak for many of the herders and their families. Some have opted to leave in search of food and water for themselves and their remaining cattle. I was a herder. I came here from the rural areas three months ago. Almost all my livestock have perished, and the few of them that are still alive are too weak and cannot provide us with milk and meat. They're still alive but can't benefit us at all. Our journey here was so rough. There was no transport or water. We left everything behind. We are here now and we don't have any proper shelter or transport. At a nearby camp, the Food and Agricultural Organization has been dispatched to help. They give life-saving support to animals too. Fowl plant to, 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 to assist the pastoralists with two main interventions. One of them is the emergency supportive treatment. We are targeting around two million animals to be treated against indo and ectoparasites, and blood parasites, infectious disease, and wounds. An estimated six million people in this Horn of Africa nation need aid. And as you can see, it's mainly women, mainly children in these communities, and they have absolutely nothing whatsoever. It's absolutely important, it's vital that support comes here, and it will come here, hopefully, in the, in, in the coming days and weeks. Humanitarian organizations in Somalia are seeking $825 million to reach the most vulnerable, with life-saving assistance until June 2017. Tuli Shabalala, CGTN.